I like to believe that it starts with us. So that if I don't like my reality, then I need to change what I'm, what I'm feeding my mind to actually be, start becoming aware of out there. So in regards to limitations, my self-talk's really important. If I think I'm going to have a bad day, and I'm sure people have experienced this, if I wake up and go, it's going to be a bad day today, it will be because I'm not going to see, I'm not going to hear, I'm not going to feel, I'm not going to get any of the good stuff because I'm actually, it's, it's outside of this little tunnel vision that I've given myself that, you know, of the reality that I want to have that day. If I want to be right at all costs and I, in my right, wanting to be right, I make you wrong. That, that is the thing that I think really drives a wedge between people. It's all about people making themselves right. And whenever we judge someone, we are making ourselves right, but all we're doing is justifying our tiny model of the world. When you see somebody, you'll, you'll make a judgment by, based on their clothes, based on the, the way they look, based on their colour, based on their sex. And this is a judgment that it will just happen instantaneously. Whether you decide to energize it with some action, whether you decide to energize it with beliefs, whether you decide to energize it with some racism, is a choice. And so it's beautiful to acknowledge that you will have judgments, and also to give yourself the choice of whether you're going to energize that. There is no rule book. I mean, we weren't born with a little rule book that says, to be the best human being you can be on planet Earth, these are some of the things that you, you really need to know. And so we struggle throughout our lives, don't we? Be aware of what's going into your mind. And that's why if someone says to me, um, you're going to have a bad day today, I always turn around and go, that's right, and it's possible I'll have a good day because I want my unconscious mind to hear what it is that I want. And so for you, it's about really um, deciding and making the choice that this is how you want something to be and then giving it the best chance of coming giving it the best chance of coming true. How, do, how does one find their way from darkness? And I guess that's what's beautiful about light and dark, is that the way often people will find their way out of darkness is have some light. What happens to the dark when you bring a candle in? There's no more darkness. So this is the beautiful thing about being around people, to being around inspiring people, to maybe one of the things we need to do is to shift our environment. If we're in an environment, if you find yourself in an environment that everyone's pulling you back and they're, they're holding you back from your dreams and they're pulling you down, perhaps you need to shift your environment. This doesn't mean turning all those people off. It means perhaps looking at where you're investing your time. Your greatest asset, your greatest resource is your time. Your time to invest with people, your time to invest on yourself, your time to invest in your enterprises. And this is what's beautiful when you get into empowering environments. People will show you that your dreams are very, very attainable. When you start to think of anything that you want to achieve, there's people that have achieved it. And once you start connecting and communicating and affiliating and having dialogue with them, your dreams become a closer reality. And the gap between this is not possible and this is possible becomes zero. And that allows us to achieve whatever we want to do. So it's raising our consciousness and changing our beliefs, transcending our beliefs, going beyond the limiting beliefs that keep us thinking that you and I are actually very different. When in fact, what separates you and I is infinitesimal compared to what you and I have in common. Once again, it's the limitations that we put on ourselves and the judgment around ourselves and others. And, um, and I think that really holds us back with number one, what we're capable of, but also what we expect others to be capable of too. If we're not connecting, then life is futile. There's no purpose in it. So our ability and our skill is to begin to get to a point where you can accept more people, no matter what they look like, no matter what they sound like, no matter what they smell like or taste like or feel like. It's really about allowing ourselves to begin to accept more people around us. The moment we do that is the moment we have more fun. The moment life is alive and we're not so judging. 
We're not so, you should, you must have, you have tos. They start to disappear. It's kind of like, what do you do with your life? What is it that motivates you? What is it that drives you? Because I'd like to know. And then that way, we open the opportunity to connect. And until you go into your heart, you will never know that that is the truth.